People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, or PETA, has awarded Mikhalia Forest and Environment Minister James Sangma with a Progressive Business Concept Award for his plans to help local farmers by developing a vegan pineapple leather industry, a move that will also protect animals as well as the environment. In an interview and in, in an exclusive interview with your channel Northeast Live, PETA India Senior Campaigns Coordinator Radhika Surya Vangshi said that, the, that said, said that James Sangma has a rightly identified the climate crisis as a defining challenge of our times and he is already taking steps to address one of the biggest culprits which is animal agriculture. She also added that PETA India looks forward to seeing Mikhalia create new opportunities for the farmers while also helping to save the planet and the lives of animals through a thriving pineapple leather industry. Radhika, uh, I just wanted to ask you a few questions. Uh, if you can please tell us about the award in short. What is this award all about? Well, a Progressive Business Concept Award is on its way from our site, which is Sita India, to Sri James Sangma, who is the Minister for Forest and Environment of Meghalaya. Uh, it's in recognition of his plans to help farmers, animals, and the environment by developing a vegan pineapple leather industry. So, uh, you know, he also plans to open a climate change museum and introduce climate change into school, school curriculum. So, you know, according to the United Nations, animal agriculture, which includes animal kill for clothing, is responsible for nearly one fifth of, uh, you know, human-induced greenhouse gas emissions, right. which by some estimates is greater than all of our transport systems combined, the world's transport systems combined. So, the you know, refusing to wear animals is among the easiest ways we can make our world a kinder place. So what do you think about uh, uh, James Sangma's initiative and how will it address the problem caused by the leather industry? You know, uh, apart from uh, providing a new opportunity for the farmers of Meghalaya and apart from protecting the planet, the, emission, uh, the initiative is also going to save a lot of animals' lives. You know, the leather industry uh, causes animal suffering on a massive, massive scale. Cows right. and buffaloes are used for leather. Uh, the cows and buffaloes that are used for leather are often crammed into vehicles in such large numbers that their bones break. Those who survive this grueling journey to the slaughterhouse suffer agonizing death. Their throats are cut in full view of other animals, and many are dismembered while they are still conscious. So we, as an we, Pita India, we hope that other states will also take note of this. You know, these days leather is made from plants or agricultural waste such as coconuts, apples, grapes pork, mushroom, and so much more. So, in fact, Pita India has also recently written to the Indian Council for Leather Exports, asking them when they can make leather from, uh, you know, when we can already make leather from plants, why use animals? You know, so right. we are asking them to transition their members into vegan leather production. Well, James Sangma had recently announced that Meghalaya is exploring pineapple for vegan leather production and taking climate change seriously apart from the leather industry contributing to the greenhouse gas emissions as well as using of toxic chemicals in tanneries which pollute waterways.